So we are talking about in the House today uh, a new bo- a new bill um, is trying to get passed, and this is all in regards to. And you've done a little bit more research mm-hmm. on this to back it up. It's a current bill. So there was a bill that was passed back in May by both the House and the Senate by an overwhelming majority that says if there are athletes under 18, mm-hmm. there is regulation in place that says there needs to be a quick reporting, like ASAP, mm-hmm. of any sexual assaults that happen to officials. And this is coming after the Nasser case last week where he was he sent to jail for 70, 40 to 175 years. Mm-hmm. Yes, but this the beginning of this bill and the beginning of this law started back in May mm. before okay. any of this hit the news cycles. Mm-hmm. And now there needs to be a revote. So that's what's happening today, this okay. afternoon. And the revote is just to essentially talk about the verbiage and how it changed from the first bill to mm-hmm. what it is now. There's not a whole lot changing in this. Mm-hmm. There is an Olympic committee that is being created because of it. Mm-hmm. But that is the gist, honestly. It all comes off the heels, as Megan was saying, about, of all these sexual allegations or sexual assault allegations, especially Larry Nasser, especially Michigan State, mm-hmm. when you have underage children mm-hmm. in the presence of officials mm-hmm. with the power to manipulate them in that way. Mm-hmm. So it That's says that this is coming the from. U.S. Olympic Committee has recognized amateur sports groups to immediately report sexual abuse claims to police. Mm-hmm. The bill also prohibits athletes under the age of 18 from being alone with an adult who isn't their parent or guardian, which mm-hmm. I think is a, a great, yes. a, mm-hmm. a great change that mm-hmm. needed to have come way before this happened. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm glad it's coming now. I mean, that's the whole point when one girl stepped forward and said, this happened yes. to me. Mm-hmm. And then all of those young women came forward because of her courage. Mm-hmm. You know, that one, and this is what happens, right? When, when people get together and, and try to implement change. And luckily in this case, mm-hmm. um, something is going to happen. Like you said, the, just the mm-hmm. verbiage of that bill is going to change. Exactly. But what what's next? Is the U.S. Olympic Committee going to be held accountable? MSU going to be held accountable? Mm-hmm. Um, the Corollis, I hear the, you know, the mm-hmm. ones who have been that training one. the, the uh, gymnasts for years. Yes. I remember mm-hmm. growing up, uh, just admiring Dominic Muciano. Yes. And how years Loved. later we found out that there was funny things happening at the Corollis. And when yep. I say funny, I mean strange inc- incidents of abuse that she came out and said. But mm-hmm. what's interesting is that when these allegations came out a couple of years ago, mm-hmm. she was Dominic Muciano was really the only one talking about it. There wasn't right. like this mm-hmm. group of people like there has been a ground around Nasser. Mm-hmm. So I would like to know what was going on because apparently Nasser yep. would be entered into those gates at the Corollis farm. Um, the ranch, ranch. Mm-hmm. called the farm, the Crowley Ranch, where all these young girls were being trained, mm-hmm. right. living without their parents. Mm-hmm. Parents were in their own state, whatever they were doing, but they were sent mm-hmm. here, mm-hmm. and this is where he would perform his activities. So they must have, people are saying, they must have known something. The Crowleys, they can't find. They're in some und- undisclosed location. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, the ranch has been shut down. So a lot of people to, to be held accountable still from, from this Nasser case. But this is one way in which girls can move forward, I guess, and say, okay, at least parents can feel like if we enter our children into the sport. Right. Especially because the person that came forward at the beginning of the Nasser case, who really set the ball Mm -hmm. or put the ball in in rolling action, we'll call it, Mm -hmm. she brought charges against him years Years ago. ago. Mm -hmm. And nothing happened. No charges were Mm -hmm. put against him. And so... I think that is the importance of this new bill and whatever the verbiage is it of the new bill. It has to be reported. It has to be reported. Right. And hopefully that also means that action must be taken because and, it was reported and nothing happened. And putting somebody in the room by law, that, that solves a couple different things legally mm-hmm. immediately. Uh, one of your classic situations for these court cases that drag on forever and are difficult is he said, she said, or he said, he said, she mm-hmm. said, she said. Well, it's just my word against yours with no witnesses. That right. ends up being difficult for all parties. Dif- if you're innocent, difficult to prove yourself. If you're if you're guilty, difficult for the victim to prove the case. So that's a situation that you avoid with somebody else in the room. Mm-hmm. Now that will probably knock down those type of legal cases I by a lot. Is though because I, I think about a, a these nurse, gymnasts. It's anybody else in the room they could is going to complicate. Too. That's I mean, what I'm this saying. Is true, Everyone could be. This and... is certainly going to help. And the other thing right. is that if it's mandated. Now you're removing some of the awkwardness because let's mm-hmm. just say you're let's say you're 16 years old and you're going to get a physical and you drove yourself. Let's mm-hmm. say you're a student athlete in high school. You drove yourself. You're going to get a physical in there. 
then it then the doctor's like, all right, well, let's go ahead and do this. Mm -hmm. Now it's on the 16 year old to say, oh, hold on a second. I need somebody else in the room. That's an awkward conversation because right. in a way. You don't trust me. Yeah, exactly. And then so that but now if it's mandated, it's like we don't have a problem here because this is we have to do it this way. Yeah. Right. And it's going to you know, it's going to help out prevent future victims right, because right. some people will take advantage of it most people are not that way but some people wait for that opportunity and they take it yeah Let's see this one says google glasses for physical assessments we'll do that we're not sure what that's about terry but i will google glasses for physical assessments i think Say not having to go in to the body like insert any sort of like if the doctor there was in instances where he would insert his hand in these women right. young women mm -hmm. these young girls so I'm assuming that's what they're referring to. But for these women, especially gymnasts who are, as we were talking about, taken away from their families to go to these training facilities, right. who is the adult that you trust? Because you don't know any of these people more than mm -hmm. they are as that authority figure in your training. Where are you going to go? You're trapped. Who are you going to go to? Exactly. You're trapped. And if the, if the adults in the room are bad people, what are you going to do? Yep. Right. So, so there's terrible. clearly a lot more. And there was a lot of uh, the, the moms who, or excuse me, the gymnasts who had gone through this instance with Larry Nassar for mm -hmm. years. Some started when they were very young. Some had started when they were teens. But they were all in an interview with ABC. I believe it was over the weekend or mm -hmm. came out over the weekend. And I was listening, and the reporter had asked, you know, you guys, some of you are moms now. Mm -hmm. And you guys obviously were Olympic athletes. Right. Would you want your daughters, or would you allow your daughters, knowing what you know now, to be in the sport? Just mm -hmm. not even at a competitive mm -hmm. level. I just start getting into gymnastics, and most of them said no. There was one girl who raised her hand and said, it took me a long time, but finally I said that wow. my daughter, because she expressed a passion and an interest, right. and I'm just like, you know, keeping my eye on her, mm -hmm. but what happens if they, they're so good they make it to that next level? Right. What kind of control do you or do you not have? But so you think hopefully, about it. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but when I watch the Olympics, one of the one of my favorite parts of the Olympics is the U.S. gymnastics team. Oh, yeah, there's Girl, something Dominic about Michiano. those girls there's, that yeah. get me so excited, and I just feel for the sport as a whole and how they're impacted by this negativity that's happening. Well, I'm mad that they they had to have known, especially with all of these allegations, they knew something was mm -hmm. happening and they didn't do anything about it. So. Mm -hmm. I'm sad for You're the athletes, me too. the innocent athletes coming up mm -hmm. in this yep. game, but I, I'm not sad for USA Gymnastics because mm -hmm. they need to be held accountable.